What's up everybody? I'm Justin Muncy and today we're going to be looking at one of my favorite guitar effects, reverb. Specifically, three different kinds of reverbs I think any guitar player can use on a regular basis. Let's take a look. All right, so for the first reverb sound we're going to make, let's do a spanky spring sound that you can use for pretty much anything. Super great if you're doing indie rock or pop guitar or even, you know, worship guitar, anything rhythmic, I think a spring tends to sound good. So we've set the big sky to spring. If you don't have a spring setting on your reverb, you know, you can use a hall, you can use a room, you get pretty similar results. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the decay up a bit. Let's, let's try about one and a half seconds. Yeah, let's get a little more than that. Yeah, right around two. Yeah, that sounds great. Cool. We're gonna add a little bit of pre-delay. Just a... This kind of gives it a little more spread. We're gonna turn the tone all the way up. Then this parameter, low end, all the way up. And then here, I like this overdrive setting. It's a little bit distorted, sounds a little more retro. We're gonna turn this mod wheel up a lot three quarters of the way, and then let's dial in our mix here. I don't know, what is that, like 30%-ish? Yeah, that sounds cool. Let's turn it down just a bit. All right, and there you go. That's our spanky clean spring sound. So our third reverb sound is gonna be a sweet, dreamy hall sound. It's gonna be kind of that U2 Coldplay reverb sound you hear a lot. It's modulated, it's bright, it's full. And you can kind of leave it on the whole time and it just starts to feel big as opposed to ridiculous. So I'm on a hall, you can do it with the room. We have our decay set to about 3.7. So pretty high, long tail, pre-delay, we're gonna turn it off. Our mix is gonna be f right here, just below 50% tone, um, almost all the way up again. The low end parameter I have up to the top. This mid parameter just slightly up in the mid, and once again, the mod is at three quarters. <laughs> is a really crazy whacked out cloud sound. If you don't have a cloud reverb, it might just be a Strymon thing. You can do a hall, you can do a room, you can do anything. The main thing is we're gonna make the decay really, really long and we're gonna make it modulated and that's what's gonna make it interesting. So how I have it set is my decay is at 6.77 seconds. It's super long. We got the pre-delay up here, it's about I don't know, it's about 10 o'clock-ish. My mix is almost halfway up. I have the tone knob just slightly above halfway. Uh, parameter one, which is the low end, it's slightly below halfway. Parameter two, which is diffusion. We're gonna have that up quite a bit. And then the mod, once again, right around two o'clock. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you can use these sounds into your rig. Just a general rule of thumb for reverb, higher decay, lower mix. You get some cool ambient sounds going on in the background and it makes your guitar sound huge. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. It'll be around here somewhere. Watch some new videos, hang out with me some more. Tell your friends about it. See you next time.